former CEO of VEA, Angela Evans, has filed a lawsuit against the Nye County Sheriff's Office and Captain David Brukowitz as an individual following her arrest in February of 2019 at the VEA main offices here in Pahrump. Nye County Sheriff's officers conducted what was two search warrants at the facility to investigate the alleged embezzlement. Valley Electric Association is a member-owned cooperative and had made promises to its members that if they would approve the purchase of a 230 kilovolt line to be sold to a company called called Gridlions for $200 million. They would have stable rates for at least 10 years. They would receive $5 million from Gridlions and $5 million from VEA to build a recreation facility on the property next door to the cooperative on Highway 372. Also, every member would receive a check for $579. Most members received their checks. The rest of the promises have went by the wayside. In fact, VEA recently decided not to allow the $5 million Gridlions donated to be used for a rec center. The rates went up almost 10% after the former CEO, Tom Husted, abruptly left following allegations and a settlement to a former employee for sexual harassment. An employee at VEA then reported that the new CEO, Angela Evans, had used a VEA contractor to bury underground power lines in the amount of $89,000 at her custom-built home on Winery Road so that the executive would not have her view of Mount Charleston obscured. In the complaint, Evans alleged that the two search warrants were unfounded and the allegations were false. Nye County Sheriff's Office alleged that Evans was involved in distributing the hush money payments to various employees and also paid a key employee $1 million of the member's money to not disclose the payments regarding the settlement for the claims of misconduct against the former CEO, Tom Husted. On February 26 of 2019, the Nye County Sheriff's Office arrested Evans and took her into the Nye County Sheriff's Office Detention Center. Evans said NCSO then posted the arrest on Facebook and changed the amount of the work done at her home from $89,000 to $74,000. Following the arrest, Evans says in her complaint against the county that VEA placed her on administrative leave pending an internal investigation. Evans was then asked to resign her position. She declined to do so, and she filed a complaint against VEA for discrimination based on her age, race, and sex. She was terminated 11 days later. Angela Evans said that she was never allowed to return to her position at VEA, and the Nye County Sheriff's Office announced that they would not be pursuing charges against Evans. She says that Captain David Brukowitz filed for a search warrant knowing that the allegations were false and had a reckless disregard for the truth, that he deprived her of her constitutional rights. She also says that she suffered emotional pain, mental anguish, income loss, and was forced to move out of her home. Evans is asking for relief for two claims of false arrest and unreasonable search. Evans' attorney, Andre Lagomarsino, is asking for a jury trial in the Nye County District Court.